Hello and welcome back to the Dividend Experiment, the channel that can help you build a sustainable dividend portfolio. The content that will be discussed is intended for information and educational purposes only and should not be considered investment advice or an investment recommendation. This video will look at the top 10 high dividend stocks in the basic materials sector. It will identify each of the companies on the list so you can find them for your own further research and give a brief description of the company itself. These basic materials sector includes a lot of mining and commodity extraction firms whose dividends can be quite high when times are good, which is great for us, but when times are bad the dividends can be cut significantly. This is something you want to watch out for in your portfolio building. As these stocks are cyclical, you don't want to have too much of them as a proportion of your portfolio or it will be a feast or famine income for you, which is not considered to be reliable if you're wanting to live off dividend income. So let's take a look at these and see which ones you want to do some extra research on. Let's not waste time and get straight to what you're here for, the list of the top 10 high dividend stocks in basic materials. One thing to consider is that the list is in ascending dividend size order, not a rating or a buy quality. The verdict is not necessarily a recommendation to buy for your portfolio, as you'll likely have your own financial situation. Welcome to ask questions in the comments about how you can get more information on any of these. First up is Fresnello PLC with a dividend yield of 3.61%. This one has a ticker symbol of FRES. The price is £7.12. The sector is basic materials. The industry is other precious metals and mining. Fresnello PLC mines, develops and produces non-ferrous minerals in Mexico. It operates in many parts of Mexico as well as internationally. The company mainly explores silver, gold, lead and zinc concentrates. It has projects running in silver and gold mines in many Brazilian areas. Its mining permits cover around 1.7 million hectares of surface land in Mexico. It leases mining equipment, produces gold and silver bars, and provides administrative services. The company was founded in 1887 and is headquartered in Mexico City, Mexico. Next one on our list is Ibstock PLC with a forward annual dividend yield of 4.05%. Ticker symbol is IBST. The price is £2.05. Again, it's in the basic materials sector, but this time the industry is building materials. Ipstock PLC provides and sells clay and concrete building products and solutions in the UK. Its major products include many brick components and concrete products. It also provides solutions for cladding, roofing accessories and urban landscaping products. Most of the company's products are used in new housing, repair, maintenance, improvement and infrastructure markets. The company sells its products under Fortecrete, Supreme, Anderton and Longley brands to construction industry customers. Ipstock PLC was founded in 1825 and is headquartered in Ibstock, United Kingdom. Okay, number three is Glencore PLC with a forward annual dividend yield of 4.34%. The ticker symbol is GLEN, listed on the London Stock Exchange, and the price is £4.48. This time the industry is other industrial metals and mining. Glencore PLC produces, refines, processes, stores, transports and markets, metals and mineral and energy products worldwide. It operates through marketing activities and industrial activities. It produces and markets many resources such as aluminium, tin and iron ore. It also engages in oil exploration, production, distribution, storage and bunkering activities while offering various oil products and natural gases. The company markets and distributes physical commodities to industrial consumers in construction and automotive. Glencore was founded in 1974 and is headquartered in Switzerland. Okay, next one, Vesuvius PLC, with a dividend yield of 5.98%. Ticker symbol is VSVS, and the price is £3.36. This time the industry is in the steel industry. Vesuvius PLC mainly provides engineering services and solutions to steel and foundry industries worldwide. The company offers various foundry consumables and equipment such as binders and feeding systems. Also, it provides various non-ferrous metals and alloys while providing cement and lime solutions. Furthermore, the company offers power generation and incineration solutions. In addition, the company provides various other solutions for ingot casting, blast furnace stack repair and ladles. Vesuvius PLC was founded in 1916 and is headquartered in London, the United Kingdom. Anglo-American PLC, with a forward annual dividend yield of 6.78%. The ticker symbol is AAL on the London Stock Exchange and the price is £27.90 per share. This time the industry is other industrial metals and mining. 
Anglo-American PLC is a mining company operating worldwide. It explores rough and polished diamonds, various ores, coal, alloy and other resources. The company was founded in 1917 and headquartered in London, United Kingdom. Next one, and the yields are starting to get very high now, is Centamin PLC with a forward annual dividend yield of 8.29%. The ticker symbol is CEY and the price is 81 pence. This time the industry is gold. Centamin PLC is involved in exploration, mining and developing precious metals, primarily gold deposits in Egypt, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Jersey, the United Kingdom and Australia. The Sakari Gold Mine project is its primary asset and that's located in the East Desert of Egypt. The company was incorporated in 2011 and headquartered in St. Helier, Jersey. Next one is a recent Is It Time to Buy Antofagasta with a dividend yield of 9.66%. Ticker symbol is ANTO, the price is £11.14 and the industry is copper. Antofagasta PLC is a mining company which operates through Los Palambras, Centinella Mines, Exploration and Valuation and Transport Division segments. The company holds 50% or more interest in the mines mentioned. The mines produce copper cathodes and concentrate and many precious metal byproducts. The company also operates exploration products in many countries. Also, it provides rail and road cargo services to mining customers in Chile. The company was founded in 1888 and is headquartered in London, United Kingdom. Rio Tinto Group with a projected forward annual yield of 10.7%. The ticker symbol is RIO and the price is £48 a share. The industry is other industrial metals and mining. Rio Tinto Group focuses on exploring, mining and processing mineral resources worldwide and offers aluminium, copper, diamonds and other resources. It owns and operates facilities such as open pit and underground mines, mills, refineries and smelters. The group was founded in 1873 and is headquartered in London, the United Kingdom. BHP Group Limited with a dividend of 11.42%. The ticker symbol is BHP. The price is £21.77 and the industry is other industrial metals and mining. BHP Group Limited primarily operates as a global resources company in Australia, Europe, China and elsewhere. It operates within four segments, petroleum, copper, iron ore and coal and the company engages in the exploration, development and production of oil and gas properties and the mining of copper, silver, uranium, gold, iron ore and other key and minor resources. In addition, the company provides other services such as towing, freight and marketing and the company was founded in 1851 and is headquartered in Melbourne, Australia. Okay, our final dividend paying company on the list, Vale SA with a forward annual dividend yield of 16.23%. The ticker symbol is VALE the price is $13 a share. The industry is other industrial metals and mining. Vale SA, with its subsidiaries, produces and sells iron ore and iron ore pellets for steel making in Brazil and worldwide. It operates through two segments. The ferrous mineral segment produces and extracts ferrous products and provides related logistic services. The base metal segment produces and extracts nickel and its byproducts. The company changed its name to Vale SA in May 2009 and was founded in 1942 and is headquartered in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This was a list of 10 high dividend paying stocks in the basic materials sector. This was made to give you some inspiration for companies in this grouping that you can now do your due diligence on. Just looking for a high yield is not enough for it to be a candidate for your portfolio, but can be a great starting point that you can start to narrow down your watch list. What do you think of these stocks on this list of 10 high paying dividend stocks in the basic materials sector? Do you hold any of them in your portfolio or plan to in the future? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, and if you made it this far, I'm guessing you did, then I have a great offer for you. I'm giving away my guide on the 10 dividend investing commandments that can give you the exact criteria that I use for picking dividend paying companies. It's free, all you need to do is sign up to my email list in the description below and it'll get delivered to your inbox. Once you're on the email list, I'll send you updates on how the portfolio is doing and if I'm buying or selling any stocks and special deals that I think you'll be interested in. So just click the link and get your copy now.